Hi, I'm Doug McKeff, Senior Product Manager of the eVault Portal. Whether this is your first visit or a returning visitor, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the new things we put in the latest release of the portal. This short video will help me quickly highlight some of those new features and capabilities for the latest version of the portal. Right off the bat, you'll see on the portal home screen that we've improved the current system snapshot by separating the backups that had problems, increasing the number of the counters listed within the snapshot dashboard. Now you can quickly see the number of backup jobs which have failed, that were missed, or were having problems. These additional counters allow you, with a quick glance, to see and then navigate to those backup jobs that need attention and dive straight into finding what the issue might be. With this next feature, we are really hoping that you find it useful for file system backups. Under the My Company settings, as an administrator, you can set up defaults for folder and file inclusion and exclusions. So now when you are creating a new file system backup job, these default folders or file filters can quickly be applied to that job. Having a company-wide standard will save you time when creating jobs and help you reduce the chance of backing up unnecessary files. This next feature is in the same vein of what I just described, and you might already be familiar with its use if you have used our Web Central Control interface, and this is identifying folder or file inclusion and exclusion when creating new file system backup jobs. Now within the portal, when you are creating file system backup jobs and you need to include or exclude particular folders or files, it is much easier to do this using a simple interface we built into the portal. As you can see on the tree pane on the left, when a folder is selected, a filter that will be applied will appear on the right side. Here you can apply the company faults, as we talked about earlier, or you can just apply your own filters using wildcards for more flexibility. Let's do a quick example. Let's say I want to back up everything on the C drive, but exclude all system files that have a .sys extension. I click on the C drive box to include the whole drive as shown in the left. The green check marks next to all the folders and files mean that the, they will all be included in the backup. If I click on the C drive again, an exclude filter box appears on the right. If I type a star dot sys and exclude file filters and then press return, and voila, all those files ending in dot sys will not be part of the backup. It's that easy. If you have more complex inclusions or exclusions, this new interface is easy to use and understanding what exactly is and isn't being backed up will be shown in a friendly graphical view. The next time saver we've incorporated within the portal is the ability to submit a request to delete a job's vault data while you are removing the job from the agent. Keep in mind the ability to submit this request will only be available to those portal users that have the admin role assigned to them. When you select Delete Job from a Job Action drop-down list, it will ask you if you'd like to also submit a data deletion request to eVault. Now you can remove a job and at the same time request its associated data be removed from the vault within the portal itself. This request will follow the same timelines and process as if you submitted the request directly to eVault support or from the eVault customer service site. You will still get an email confirmation and the actual permanent deletion will take up to 72 hours to complete. Finally, when it comes to eVault agent plugin support, I'm excited to highlight that we've added support for UNC shares and VMware vCenter agents in this new version of the portal. With these two new features, the portal now has the ability to create, restore, and manage the most common agent plugins. So now more and more, this simple, intuitive interface can become your eVault tool of choice for your backup environment. Well, I could spend a lot more time talking about all the new features in this release, but those are just some of the highlights of this new version of the portal. And I'm sure that most of you will explore the portal and will notice the other new features and the many improvements we built into this version. Always remember, if you ever have feedback at any time, go to the Feedback tab and let us know what you think or what we should be doing to make the portal better and more useful. As I wrap up, I'd like to emphasize because we are continually working to make the portal better, we can only do that when we hear from you. So please let us know what is on your mind regarding capability and your user experience within the portal. Thanks for watching and enjoy the new version of the eVault portal. And thanks again for being an eVault customer.